What's up everyone, it's your boy, Koreanosh. I bought one of every rice ball in Korea. Now you might be wondering, why? Why Josh? Why did you do this? Well, I'm going to be tasting all of them to decide which is the best rice ball, which is the worst rice ball, and most importantly, if you combine all rice balls together, do you get the ultimate rice ball? All of this to save you money should you happen to visit one of the 8 trillion convenience stores here in South Korea. So, let me show you what we're working with. So just a few. Now this is about all of the rice balls that I could find. There are 23 in total and I had to visit 4 convenience stores to be able to get all these together. I went to 7-Eleven, I went to Emart, I went to CU, and I went to GS which had the most rice balls available out of all convenience stores. Now I am somewhat of a professional when it comes to rice balls. I have eaten a lot of them, especially over these last 100 days eating in a convenience store. You may have heard of rice balls before. Rice balls as in rice balls, onigiri, samgakbap, jelly filled donuts. Well, let's go ahead and lay your fears to rest and begin rating all of the rice balls on a scale of one to 10. Oh, that made a mess. Starting off with a rice ball from CU. This is a rich tuna rice ball. 3XL for when one rice ball isn't enough. Now I couldn't decide what to do. Do I microwave the rice balls or do I not microwave the rice balls? It says it here, right on the packaging, 30 seconds in the microwave. But I feel like I'm gonna get complaints if I do that. Just one, just one. I'm just gonna microwave one rice ball. Just, just one, just one, just wait there. In case you've never had a rice ball before, they have some pretty cool design packaging. The way that you unwrap them is tear down, tear up, shuffle it off, and shuffle it off. Ooh, that is hot. Do I just do one one bite? Uh, there are 20, 23 rice balls. The thing is, if I eat the top, I'm gonna get mostly rice. And if I bite the bottom, I'm gonna get a freshly microwaved molten ball of tuna and mayonnaise. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite from the bottom of each. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, one more bite. Okay, one more bite. Look, I stand by it. Tuna and mayonnaise is undoubtedly the best rice ball. I hear people complaining like, mm, it's too fishy, it's too fishy. <laughs> if you don't like the taste of tuna, you got baby taste buds. Tuna and mayonnaise, that's a 9 out of 10. Next rice ball is from Emart. This is spicy stir-fried squid. Mmm, <laughs> that'll taste great. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It is so chewy. I don't know. It's right. It's like a four. Stir fried bulgogi. Do the flip. Ooh, mmm. I shouldn't have bitten into that so aggressively. That exploded in the mouth. And it's kind of sour. It tastes like it was fermented in a sock drawer. Yeah, that's a two. Back to the 3XL. We have a kimchi tuna mayonnaise. I'm so ready for this. This is gonna be fire. Look, it's so good. This one's so, so good. But it would be so much better if it was microwave. Please, please just do it. It's so worth it. Oh, that is a 10. That is a 10, absolutely. Grilled beef ribs. I'm really not enjoying that sour flavor. And the beef is chewy like shoe leather. That's a three. Mixed tuna mayo. You see, the slight difference with this one is rather than having a big ball of tuna and mayo in the core of the rice ball, have it mixed all throughout the rice, as you might be able to see here. Mmm, that's some crunchy little pop pops of onion. That's good. I need to stop taking two bites. This is a 9.5. Just a slight improvement on the normal one. Stir fried red chili paste and beef. Ah, I hate when that happens. It's like amputating your rice ball. Let's do a quick little vibe check. Oh, somebody needs a diaper changed. Mmm. 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 It's better than the bulgogi flavor, but there's a bit too much paste in it. It's got like a spicy kick to it. That's a five. Keeping up with the spice levels, we got the spicy stir fried pork. Oh wow, it gave my rice ball a cavity. It just had one giant slab of meat in it. And that's it. Where's the rest of the meat? Yeah, I'll give it a three. No, a, a four. The flavor's nice. This one is grilled chicken. This is the first rice ball I've ever seen that has chicken in it. It's always pork or beef. Damn, you can let go. Look at the meat inside this one. That's great. That sauce has some good flavor, but it's not spicy. If anything, it's cool. Hell yeah, I'd buy that again. That's an eight. This is a Chanti Mayo classic. It's a big one. This is the one I will get every single time. I'm expecting nothing but tens here today. That was just a mouthful of rice. It usually gets better. I'll give it one more, one more bite. One more bite. Redemption. 
Where is the tuna? You let me down. I introduce you to my friends and this is what you do? I'm not mad, I'm just, I'm just disappointed. That's a five. Tuna with the kimchi salad. Now there's no bigger turn off than the word salad to me, but I'm willing to give this a try. Mmm, mmm. I did not expect the kimchi to be mixed into the tuna. That is not bad, that's a solid seven. Jonju bibimbap tuna mayo. You can tell Koreans like their tuna mayonnaise. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, that's unique. Notice how the tuna mayo is on the outside of the rice ball. But honestly, the Jonju bibimbap sauce is kind of letting it down. But I can give it a 6.5. Back to tuna mayonnaise. Do rest assured, I will not be wasting these rice balls. This is going to be my meals for the next three days. I'm too broke to be throwing away that much food. This one's stuffed with so much more tuna mayo. The rice to the tuna and mayonnaise balance is spot on. Damn, this is like, a, this is a tuna mayo winner, I think. This one's a 10. I'm pretty sure that was GS25. This is the vegetarian option. We have Jonju Bibim. As you can imagine, I've never bought this before. Will I ever buy it again? Let's find out. Funky. Oh, that one made me shiver. I don't know if you can see my goosebumps. Oh my god. Oh, that is a zero. Bacon tuna mayonnaise. I know this one's good. Don't embarrass me. It tastes good, but the bacon flavor is so underwhelming. It tastes like someone grabbed this rice ball and just lightly brushed a piece of bacon over the top of it. But because it tastes good, it's still an 8 out of 10. Tam gochujang bibimbap. Tam gochujang sauce. A mix of veggies. Seems like an egg as well. Oh, there really is an egg. Let me give you a closer look. A piece of ham. Let me just peel that off. Mmm. <laughs> nice little bits of meat in there. The egg is still fluffy. I like the sauce. It doesn't smell like egg in a bad way. Yeah, this one gets a nine. Ham tuna mayo, but this time from CU. Dinner. You know the rules. That was two chew. This gets a nine. Oh, five left. Five. I can do this. Sogogi Jonju Bibim. I didn't realize how salty these are. Oh. <laughs> There's so much sauce inside this. Look at this. It's just too wet. This gets a three. Jonju bibimbap. So many of the convenience stores have the same flavors, but they all taste different in their own way. Significantly less salt on this one. I just don't like a lot of these paste-filled rice balls. It feels like what I'd imagine sucking on clay would feel like. It's got a little spicy kick. Uh, three out of 10. Tuna mayo with Jonju style bibimbap. It looks good. Oh, that is stuff. No, this is great. There's a lot of mayonnaise in this. And the pastiness of the Jonju sauce isn't too bad. This is a nine. Fried rice, spam and egg. Bacon fried rice. Fried rice, spam, tuna, kimchi. Why was I excited to film this video? I'm so full now. Now I don't feel good. That's way better than the bacon tuna one. But I don't remember why I rated the bacon tuna one. I give us like an 8.5. Last one. Fried rice, spam and egg. Oh, I cannot wait for this to be finished. Ooh, looking kind of eggy. It's like a potato salad. The mayo is really like flowy in this one. So I'm gonna just get a 10. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. Time for palate cleanser. Got that Among Us chocolate milk. I've said this before, but this is the best chocolate milk I've ever drank. Ah. Here we have the mega ultimate monster mega rice ball. <laughs> bon appetit. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was, I guess, like a 